All right, next one, reduction of MI. So reduction, well, lithium aluminum hydride, always the, the, the reagent to go, always can reduce pretty much any carbonyl compound, right? All right, the mechanism goes like this, kind of weird. Uh, this is probably the first time that you, you probably see the uh, sp2 oxygen leaves right away. It's just they somehow disappear. Here's what happened. Lithium aluminum hydride can um, form complex with the oxygen, make a good living group, and it will leave. You will see. All right. All right. The first step, just like you know, um, we have hydride attack the carbon new carbon like that. All right. So we have a salt right here forming. And then this is what happened. So the left over, we have aluminum hydride uh, can re react uh, with the oxide. And that's a good living group. The whole thing here up here is a good living group. You can expel it using lone pair of nitrogen from an uh, ammonium ion, look like that, okay? Now the next um, molecule of lithium aluminum hydride will attack the ammonium ion and you will get primary amine. That's how it works. I think you have seen um, the aluminum, aluminum gets on oxygen before one time. I, I forgot when, it, when was that. Uh, I don't remember, but you have seen it one time. Uh, I think it's carboxylic acid or something. Okay, react with a lithium aluminum hydride. I think so, something like that. Yeah, carboxylic acid, react with a lithium aluminum hydride. Now you get an alcohol. Okay, all right, so the same, see double bond or leaf, just the just, uh, same way. Anyway, so, all right, speaking of um, <clears throat> uh, amides, so we have an uh, example of amides that you, most of you know, okay, penicillin. Have you heard about penicillin? Of course, everyone does, right? It's probably one of the oldest drugs, right? Uh, all right, penicillin uh, is an antibiotic, so they have uh, antibacterial activity, so kill bacteria. Um, penicillin was um, accidentally discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928. There's a whole story behind it, right? But we're not going to get to the detail. But anyway, um, the antibiotic activity also accidentally discovered by this same person, right? But uh, we realized later the mode of mechanism is uh, penicillin. So we have a structure right here. So we call penicillin G. This compound, we have a bunch of penicillin type. All right, so this penicillin G uh, inhibits transpeptidase, which is an enzyme that builds cell wall for bacteria. A bacteria that doesn't have cell wall, they, they die, right? So that is how um, penicillin um, kill bacteria. And beta lactam of penicillin is reactive uh, because of ring strain. So there's a beta lactam right here, is a ring, the four membered ring right here, highly reactive. And that's where the reactivity of penicillin comes from. Right? Uh, the mode of function show like this. Oh, let's take a look. So penicillin diffuses to uh, inside the um, uh, uh, bacteria, okay, and meet up with a transpeptidase which is an enzyme in bacteria to build cell wall, react with it. So just real, uh, really regular uh, nucleophilic acyl substitution break the MI bond. So you get an inactivated enzyme. So this enzyme is useless now, can't do anything, right? Can't build cell wall and the bacteria is dead. And here's what happened. Bacteria uh, resist penicillin. They become, uh, what's it called? Super bug or something like that, all right? So the, uh, and this is what happened. The, uh, bacteria produce a new enzyme to combat this problem because they, it got killed. Right? They try to protect itself. So it produce a new enzyme called beta lactamase. What does it do? Well, anything you see, A is mean cut the bond, cut the beta lactam bond. So the beta lactam right there. So this enzyme catalyzes a uh, uh, hydrolysis of uh, cutting bond of beta lactam. Okay. So oxygen attack right there and so destroy penicillin basically and become that inactive drug. All right, so it is a reason uh, uh, medici medicinal chemists develop um, more other type of um, what's it penicillin to combat the drug resistance of this enzyme. Okay, so basically we have a bunch of penicillin. So penicillin, uh, if the the alkyl group look like this, we call penicillin G. We have ampicillin. We have methicillin. I don't know how to say it. All right, and we have some other uh, penicillin type drug as well. Okay. All right. So don't forget to upload this. Okay. All right. This will help out uh, what you just learned. All right. So we have a drawing mechanism. Uh, I complete the uh, add the reagent to complete the the, the, the reaction. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on to the last uh, of 
carboxylic acid derivative nitriles.